Thomas Merton's an artist. He's a writer. He wanted to be a famous writer. Merton articulated with such clarity the reality of God's presence in the world. I am as tired of talking and writing as if I had done it for centuries. Now it is time to listen at length to this Asian ocean. Over there, Asia. He kept breaking new ground. He was interested in issues of racism and of peace and of religious reconciliation. And he's studying Mahatma Gandhi and the Chinese mystics and Zen Buddhism when most people have never heard of Zen or Buddhism. My ideas are always changing, always moving around one center. And I'm always seeing that center from somewhere else. Hence, I will always be accused of inconsistency, but I will no longer be there to hear the accusation. Merton is unclassifiable. He's a kind of a dangerous thinker in a way. Paradoxically, I have found peace because I have always been dissatisfied. My moments of depression and despair turn out to be renewals, new beginnings. If I were once to settle down and be satisfied with the surface of life, with its divisions and its cliches, it would be time to call in The Undertaker. He had a lot of conflicts within him. He was trying to resolve all these things. I think we have to understand that Merton is, in a sense, the lost soul of the 20th century, looking for redemption, looking for recovery looking for God. <laughs>